for wildlife news today, we're going to head over to Michigan. And if you want to survive real life rabies 101 and hang out with your animals, you might want to subscribe. Just saying. Now get this, a man in the U.S. has died of rabies after receiving a kidney transplant. And it all started with a skunk and a tiny kitten. Now the donor was scratched by a skunk while saving a kitten, unknowingly infected with rabies. That virus ended up in someone else's body through the kidney that he donated. As a wildlife biologist who's caught skunks, opossums, bats, wolves, of course, lots of eagles, I've had my rabies shots, no big deal. But this story is a reminder that nature is not always friendly. In the United States, bats, raccoons, skunks, foxes, coyotes are the most likely to carry, um, but bats are everywhere and the sneaky bites are real. Animals like opossums, squirrels, rabbits, mice, and rats, very unlikely and very little risk. And of course, reptiles, fish, amphibians, totally immune. Now, rabies destroys the nervous system. Uh, once the system symptoms start, no joke, that's where the bite or scratch from a high risk wildlife means get treated immediately. Stay curious course respect wildlife and if you want to hear more crazy wildlife and real animal science hit that subscribe button before the next critter surprise shows up stay wild